Hi everyone. Just changed clothes and I'm back with another reaction video. This time I'm gonna react to I won Mr. Beast's one million dollar YouTuber challenge by Jaden Animations. What the crap? Looks like we're gonna looks like we're gonna have three reaction video uploads today. Let's see how she did it. Let's begin. When Carl Jacobs popped up in my DMs asking if I wanted to be in Mr. Beast's upcoming video, I'll be honest, my gut reaction was fear. Mr. Beast has basically become YouTube's own mad scientist. He can snap his fingers and shape reality at this point. Despite part of me thinking I should just stay in the comfort of my own home, I felt really honored to be invited and kind of just wanted to show up, say hi, and then realistically go home within the first round of eliminations. I accepted <laughs> the ominous invitation uh. and before I knew it was flying to North Carolina, being handed a custom uniform, all before even knowing what I actually just said signed up for. I didn't even know if there was a prize for the winner at this point. Walking into the green room, I was expecting to not know anyone, but to my relief, I saw a lot of familiar faces. I even used this time to ask Matt Pat what it was like to meet Matt Scott Pat. Cawthorn, and he told me FNAF secrets. So already this wow. trip was more than worth it. Eventually, we were herded down a long, mysterious hallway until we saw it. The Mr. Beast Cube. After everyone was filed inside, Wait. we were told the last person to leave SMG the cube would be made a deemed much similar video. And also win a million like a dollars for ago. their subscribers. This is for a million dollars? <laughs> The challenge began. Immediately, people started jumping in the giant pile of real money that was inside, throwing handfuls of bills in the air, laughing, mingling. To pass the time, James and I drew our cartoon characters out of dollar bills on the floor. The staff came in well, and isn't that ended generous. up giving everyone their own personal vlog camera to document their POV of the challenge. And I think I genuinely was the only person who didn't record a single second of footage probably of the, thing. Probably thought, the most high-rising YouTube. I'm not going to make a video out of it. And they're going to have plenty of other people's footage to use. I just have in hindsight, thousand. maybe it would have been a good idea to record something just in case. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the Mr. Beast team would end up actually wanting to use some of my footage. Who's to say? After maybe an hour Who or knows? two, Jimmy came out for the first bonus challenge. A single free throw. Miss and you're eliminated, but make it. And not only do you get to come back into the cube, you also win a cyber truck for one of your subscribers. They had 50 people subscribe. What? Is just in a room waiting for something to happen. I'll be honest, when Jimmy explained the extra credit challenge, I was like, hell no, I'm not going up to miss a free throw and leave immediately after nothing's happened yet. If my subscriber back there knew what was going on, they 100% would have understood they weren't getting called up for nothing. If I remember correctly, maybe two people I, ended I up making their so. baskets and three people were eliminated. I could be wrong. I don't remember because I didn't vlog it. While chatting with friends, Ludwig walked of and asked if I wanted to do a dice bet with nothing else to do I agreed and to no one's surprise I lost and an evil expression washed over Ludwig's face all right since you lost I want you to walk up to Kai Sanat and introduce yourself with hi Kai I'm Jaden so which of my videos have you seen maybe I should have just missed a free throw hey Kai there's someone I want you to meet <laughs> Hey, man, Kai I'm Jaden. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, which of my videos have you seen? Excuse me? Oh, <laughs> shit, myself. Oh, um, like he... so which of my videos have you seen? Oh, I I'm sorry. I haven't seen any, I, I don't think. Ha, that, no, that's okay. Nice meeting you. Bye. Kai was super chill and nice about it, but oh uh, my god. At I least he was nice about it. Off. Can't believe he knew nothing about it. I was stuck in this cube with him until further notice, and it's all Wood was fault with his stupid dice. I hate it in here. Let me out. Oh, hi, Jimmy. We were supposed <laughs> to gather up in groups of five, designating one as a team captain who will have immunity for the next challenge. I was with James, Schlatt, Ludwig, and Charlie Moist Critical. Using the dice to choose Moist the Critical this was time, I actually wait. Moist Critical highest, too, but reassigned it to Ludwig because I couldn't cope with the idea of possibly being responsible for a teammate's elimination. And then it was revealed captains would just have to assign their teammates a shape for the Squid Game Honeycomb Challenge. Okay, 
Well, I definitely overthought that one. I had triangle, James got circle, Charlie was star, and Schlatt unfortunately got umbrella. The 10 minute timer began, oh, and Schlatt. everyone started deploying various different strategies to get their cookie shape out. Charlie used a new technique called huck as much spit as you can into the tin to dissolve it all. It was really gross. He ended yeah, up filling that the tin actually almost was to the disgusting. top of spit. Oh By the end, God. two people with stars were eliminated, and it's not like a Squid single game, umbrella to be honest through. with you. Bye, Schlatt. It was very <laughs> funny seeing Mr. Beast lift the lid off Charlie's tin and immediately reel back in disgust, though. A total of 14 I, I out of 50 people have now been eliminated, <laughs> leaving 36 people. Honestly, that was good enough for me. Losing at any point going forward was already further than I was anticipating. We were fed our little thing of rations and left to wait again. It probably doesn't seem like long in Mr. Beast's video, but it was like 9 p.m. by the time we began the second real challenge. After being directed to choose a partner, James and I shook hands, ready to take on the next game as a team, and froze as it was revealed we had just chosen our own opponent. Another squid game tactic. I probably should have seen it coming, I just didn't expect the double up. The Beast staff revealed the next challenge as they the rolled unexpected. in a giant Jenga tower. Winner stays, loser walks. Unfortunately, the very Winner first stays, game loser of leaves. giant Jenga between KSI and AJ KSI? taking oh, of course. Even KSI was in this. We all What's next? Who's next? I show probably speed. Probably didn't have the time to play Jenga for the next 30 hours. But just as AJ won, KSI hoisted him over his shoulders and ran out of the cube. No! Okay. Huge drama! Everyone was freaking out. <laughs> AJ was stunned. No one knew what to do. Was that legal? Can you just carry people out of the cube? Jimmy had everyone take a vote, and pretty much everyone opted to bring AJ back in. Yes, out of the kindness of our hearts, <laughs> but also out of fear of being manhandled. So since the giant Jenga was a bust. Production ended up scrambling to try and find like 12 sets of normal Jenga at midnight in North Carolina. A feat that seems impossible, Gosh, but I feel so like crazy. Jimmy could just call up the president of Jenga and have it all delivered via helicopter within 30 minutes. It took a <laughs> bit, the but the slightly Jenga. larger than normal, yet still like reasonably sized Jenga towers were all set up. As our game was going on, James and I ended up making a pact that whoever was eliminated would relay to the outside world that the other was okay because we didn't have our phones by the way our friends only knew we were in the mr beast cube and haven't responded for 14 hours our game of jenga Gosh. was pretty intense eventually it got to the point where as i was watching james pull out a final piece i realized there wasn't any left for me to safely remove what i'm about to be eliminated oh and she's so screwed bliss washed over me sure i'll be gone but that's okay. I'll be set free into the outside world again. The cube is harsh. Yeah, I'm you're free of Mr. It's Beast so and many his of my friends crazy from antics. Me. The glass floor is hurting my butt. I'm ready to go now. And, and she's out of here. Deeper into the trenches I went. James being eliminated meant I was moving on to cube day two. What a miracle. Watching the rest of the Jenga games was like watching an active war zone. People were focusing, cheering, sweating, praying. Towers were falling one after the other at the feet of now eliminated players. It was brutal. And also still taking way too damn long, man. Can I go to bed? <laughs> the last game left to finish was between Quackity and a popular Brazilian creator, Enaldino. Apparently, really? when it was revealed the challenge was Jenga, Enaldino turned to Quackity and admitted he was a Jenga pro. Quackity had never played. Is he now? the situation you want to be in. Quackity half-jokingly asked Analdino if he wanted to play rock, paper, scissors instead, to which he replied, no. No. Which, you know, fair. But three hours into this single game, the two of them were neck and neck. Genuinely the most cracked round of Jenga possibly ever. Everyone in the cube was it gathered around watching bro. Quackity slowly pulling out the very last piece in this skeleton of a Jenga tower. Just it's as he was about to, to make it. It's insane, to be honest with you. It's just asked, absolutely crazy. Rock, paper, scissors? Quackity looked up at him. Muito tarde. Too late? It was over. And Aldino tried to hang in there, but in the end, he fell. He beat the professional Jenga player. Now eliminated. All right, it's 3 a.m. Let's go to bed. I genuinely <laughs> thought they would let us go back to our hotel rooms for the night, but... Man, oh, that is just my great. God. I won myself.
off a ticket to a night in the Mr. Beast Cube, sleeping next to a bunch of people I barely know, and I was probably just gonna get eliminated first thing in the morning anyway. As I was getting ready for bed, he, Kai she was gonna by. get the boot. Hey, I gotta check out your videos sometime. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I lost a bet to Ludwig, and he made me say that. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, well, that makes falling asleep a bit easier. Thank God. Yeah, I bet it does. had a huge ego for 19 <laughs> hours straight. Crisis averted. In the morning, production had to prep for filming again, which meant they turned on every single light in the building, flash banging all of us. They were turned off, and then these loud ass brrrr sounds from construction started blasting. They turned the lights on again a few minutes later, but this time in a crazy strobe light effect for some reason after breakfast rations jimmy returned pointed to the entrance hallway yeah his real name is walks, jimmy i, I knew it too much i knew it i show speed would the be there sleep of their lives all right you guys have the chance to vote speed into the cube to join i knew i show speed would be there the kind thing to do was to let him in but we all just survived trenches no one could and <laughs> that mother flipper is crazy we were trauma bonded together and also, it wouldn't be fair. The majority of us <laughs> moved to the voting side of no. Admittedly, me too. Mainly because I was a bit scared of him. Speed looked at Kai. At least shake my hand, man. You're gonna pull me out. As the two of them argued about a friendly They're like Ludwig screaming up. at each I'll other. I'll shake your hand, Speed. His hand now extended to Ludwig. The moment their hands touched, Speed started yanking Ludwig towards the outside. Dude, he's world. trying to screw everybody over. Panicking. We couldn't lose one of our cute I mean, I show this. Speed Ludwig was screwing everybody over. Dear life. Some of the guys managed to pull him back in, and as Speed walked out, unable to take any souls with the him, crap, he bro. exclaimed, This ain't the last time you're gonna see me, and I remember all y'all's faces. All y'all's faces. All right, let's get started. Challenge didn't say three the N was word. steal God. or no steal. Basically, a modified version of deal or no deal. Some cases have the word safe in them. Others say eliminated. One person looks inside a selected case, and the other decides whether they want to steal it or no steal it. And also, Howie Mandel was there. I <laughs> of course, People he had to be there. People started getting eliminated one by one, others securing safety. Eventually, Ludwig was up at the podium asking if anyone wanted to volunteer to go up. At this point, the ratio of safe cases was very high 60 percent in favor of safe figuring the odds would just get messier from there i volunteered ludwig looked inside his chosen case looked up and told me it was safe i knew mathematically i should steal the case but i've been burned by math before as i started hesitantly gonna saying steal. i was She's gonna, gonna steal, steal mr b suddenly burst out saying ludwig's heart rate was spiking by the way he was wearing a heart rate monitor which made was me he scared really? it oh, was, was actually an elimination case and he was excited at the idea of avoiding going home so last minute i decided to let him keep the case it was the safest play if it said eliminated then good i dodged a bullet if it was safe then at least I'm not actually eliminated yet. I just have to play again. <sighs> Shit. It was now my <laughs> turn to bring someone up. Even though I didn't want to pick a friend out of fear of getting them eliminated, more than that, I didn't want to be up there with someone I didn't know. I picked Quackity. He came up to the podium. I grabbed Quackity. case number two. It says safe. My plan was to tell the truth, but in the most unconfident and nervous way possible. I was deploying every bit of body language knowledge I could think of, making myself look as guilty as possible as he asked me various questions. We went back and forth for a bit until your eyes looked down as you said the case was safe, which indicates guilt. So I think you're lying. I'm not going to steal it. Without a word, I shifted the case onto its back, unlatched it. Safe. It was worth sleeping in the cube. Oh my god, the relief you I have guess no it, idea. I guess it was After most definitely finished, worth it. A bunch of people walked out, and unfortunately, Quackity ended up being one of them. Ten yep. people left. I know it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world inside had to the go. cube, but when you're left to sit with your fellow contestants for hours on end Charlie, between challenges, like critical, waiting dude. for Jimmy Beast to send you all through another round of cube stress, mm -hmm. you really start bonding with the survivors. It was pretty sad watching them go. Hours passed until the Jimmy death bell struck again, and we were told to partner up once more. Alex and I had really gotten to chat and hang out together.
together as the only girls left at this point, so we paired up. Everyone was blindfolded and told to sit tight until they were ready, which is ominous. The two of us were strategizing and figuring out each other's strengths and weaknesses for whatever was coming our way, only to be unblindfolded and see the entire cube transformed into a kitchen. It was a, a cooking kitchen? battle. We're actually fucked. <laughs> Alex started panicking, yeah, are... saying she can't cook yeah. for her life. We were freaking Absolutely. out. Then Mr. Beast brought out the judges. Professional competitive eater Joey Chestnut, Miranda Cosgrove. Miranda Cosgrove, and what? Speed. Bottom two teams are eliminated. Time and I show speed of all people. committing to mac and cheese with a slice of chocolate cake. Under the fancier title of American Comfort Food. A.K.A. the only two women left in the challenge can't cook and they're trying their fucking best. The judges walked around to check in on everyone and eventually speed was at our station so when you of all course i show speed of all in, people which side were you on well originally we were on the side of of no because we were a bit intimidated but we we ended up switching to a yes at the last minute right Jaden? yeah i i switched all right cool because you know i don't forget right yep <laughs> uh Later on during Freaking the challenge, I Mac show and speed, Nolan man. from the Beast team came up so to ask what we were making. At the time, I was grading up Beastables to sprinkle onto our cake for decoration. And I thought, oh, it would be funny to have them ask what we're making, and it's just their own brand of chocolate. So I was like, close your eyes and open your mouth. I've never tried Mac their... I never tried and Mr. Beast And immediately, Beast without chewing, he was like... Is this Beastables? And I was like, yeah. And he kind of stood there for a second with his mouth still open. And Nolan was like, oh, he's allergic. And they both had oh, to leave. Oh, crap. Oh, my God, guys. I felt so bad. I apologize. How, so how does she not realize that? Max said it was fine and it's a good sport about it. But I still have so much guilt about being such an idiot. Ludwig and Amixim presented first with their fried chicken and asparagus dish. The judges all really enjoyed it, giving them a total of 26 points, which is really unfortunate because I definitely thought Speed was going to hold a bigger grudge against Ludwig and tank their score. We were up next, and thankfully, they really liked our food, too. Joey was the first to score us and ended up giving us a 10 out of 10 and mm, in the moment as amazing. a joke i wanted to turn around and flip off ludwig as a like friendly fake gloat but i accidentally turned around and flipped off a mixum and i felt so what bad again he was not the intended target and now i was just being rude yeah you were just being a complete freaking jerk horribly not because of the cooking part i've just been non-stop fumbling socially we also got a total of 26 putting us at a tie with the french boys but now logan paul and Logan Nick Paul, oh my god. And I haven't mentioned it yet. Ah, uh, former WWE US champion. They even gave us all his own cookbooks as a help. I drunk his energy drink yesterday. A twist, in my opinion. So, yeah, they knocked it out of the park, got a 29. The judges were licking their plates. After them was Kai and AJ, who had a great presentation, but their food... Not so was much. They got a crappy. Season. After eating, Speed got up and started smashing the plates on the ground. And Logan Paul saw this and got really excited because he wanted to smash plates too. Without thinking, he ran out he's to gonna, join Speed. He's gonna blow it for him. He's gonna blow it, bro. Change in the air. Logan looked back Balls. at us before realizing he left the cube. To this day, what? none of us are truly sure if he did it for like, the content idiot. or it was a genuine accident. In his defense, the set was so cosmetically different that it really did feel like we weren't in the cube anymore. Either way, he content created too close to the sun, and even though he had a guaranteed spot in the finals, he was eliminated. The last yeah, goodbye. Of and Spriter went up with their Spanish tortilla, but turns out Spriter is a huge fan of speed, so he made a special Thai dessert just for him that the other judges weren't allowed to eat, which is honestly hilarious. We all held our breath as the judges flipped through their scores. I show speed. 22. Alex and I made it to the finals. I never in my life thought <sighs> I was finals. gonna be getting oh, this boy. far and suddenly realized I need to actually think about what I would do if I won. I went into this thing not even knowing if there was a prize at all and was now facing the reality that I could win the whole thing. Hours passed as the five of us sat together in the cube until Mr. Beast emerged for the oh, final time. Crap. Someone was about to win one million dollars for their subscribers and it all came down to the this final challenge. challenge. Honestly, among the group, there wasn't a single person I thought 
didn't deserve to win. Everyone left were good people who all wanted to do something really positive with the money. It was great getting to know them all over the course of two cube days. And I was really proud to be standing next to them in the finals. Five briefcases were piled in the center. One for each final. Oh, so we were like to gonna, each take so one. Like gonna do some shady questions case, or something? And within the next ten minutes, discuss who to vote out. If you're voted out and your briefcase is empty, you're eliminated. But if you're voted out and your case has the million dollars inside you win instantly it was basically like reverse among us the first <sighs> round started we all grabbed a case peeked inside holy shit i grabbed the million dollar case round she one. won I shaking i didn't know she what won to use i didn't know how to make myself look like i should be she legitimately out. won the discussion time it definitely showed because i was really quiet and nervous the whole time the 10 minute discussion wrapped up we all unanimously wrote our votes down and it fell into a tie between voting out ludwig and somehow me it could end right here. We had a few minutes like to discuss Survivor. again and recast votes, but Alex and Nick were able to figure out I voted for myself, so Ludwig was eliminated. The cases were reshuffled. We each grabbed one. I pulled it again. In that moment, I froze. Since I was in the hot seat last round, I was probably gonna fly pretty under the radar this time. Someone else is gonna be voted out, and I statistically will not see this case ever again. If I'm not voted out here, I basically lose. The second round began, and it was pretty much a blur from there. I was trying to talk more because being quiet last round got me found out, but was still flying too under the radar. Amidst trying to keep up with the conversation, strategize, and hold myself together, I couldn't find my win con. But with a few minutes left, Amixum said something that I think shifted the entire game. What are the odds Jaden pulled the million case twice? There it was. Gambler's wow. Fallacy, save me. Save me, Gambler's Fallacy. I couldn't mess this up. I, I, I don't know what to say to that one. Everyone's attention was now on me, and I could tell they were all thinking about what was just thrown into the ring. We all looked down at our papers. I wrote my name as quietly as possible, worrying the sound of the letters were gonna out me. Jimmy read them all out. Jaden. Alex. Jaden. Jaden. They voted me out. I slowly walked to the middle of the podium with my briefcase. In that moment, I was the only one who knew what had just happened. Everyone leaned in as I unlatched the case and revealed the million. I won. He won. She she did it. Blasted. She Everyone freaking did it. Congratulating me. All the eliminated contestants left in the green room ran out screaming and jumping around me in celebration. I started to tear up for some stupid emotional reason. So, <laughs> yeah, I won a million How dollars you not? to give away to my subscribers. You, she that won a million dollars. That is a amount of money. First of all, top five all agreed that whoever won the million would give the other four 100k each to do something for their subscribers too. So a total of 400k will be going to Ludwig, Alex Botez, Amixim, and Nick DiGiovanni. With the remaining 600k, I decided to put it towards paying for as many people's art degrees as possible. It's really scary going into the art field right now between the animation industry hitting their rough patches, AI threatening to take artist jobs, the overall career path is extremely intimidating and difficult to break into. I'd really like to encourage and make it easier for some of the up-and-coming artists by being able to send them through art school stress-free. I have no idea how to set it all up, but I'm currently working with as many qualified people as I have available to me to make it happen. As my and Mr. Beast's team figures it out, I'll keep you all updated through my Twitter. We'll get it sorted. I entered the Mr. Yeah. Beast cube ready to just talk to my friends and screw up in the first challenge, but instead I was isolated from the world for 48 hours, watched my peers fall one by one in front of me, and left with a million dollars for my subscribers. Amazing. Thank you, Carl, for inviting me. Thank you to all my friends who made the cube the, so much more enjoyable. The, Thank you, Mr. Beast, for creating this incredible opportunity I can now use to support artists. Despite being put through cube trenches, I had a really great time. And of course, huge thanks to the Beast crew for making it all happen. It was something I'll never forget or experience ever again. Hopefully. <laughs>
If you're an artist currently enrolled in art school, uh, and are hoping I'm to have not some an of artist. Your tuition paid for with the cube I mean, winnings, I was you can now apply through the form. I'll have a link in the description in the school. comments of this video. The form will be available I, uh, for a week starting the day this so, video is uploaded, Jayden? so be sure to check the calendar and apply before don't it's closed. Me. I assume there's going to be uh, a huge amount of applications. Because <laughs> I'm no one, because I'm not an artist. Expect a few months wait before we announce the winners. Thank you for your patience. I'm not sure how many people we can financially help out because everyone's tuition will be back different but I'm looking forward to going through your portfolios and hearing your stories thanks for watching and thank you to my team for dropping everything to work on this sudden video jump scare all right um until next time bye bye oh <sighs> that is just crazy I mean I knew all this time I show speed would be in, would be part of this challenge but I didn't know Logan Paul would. I mean, I mean, I fully on guessed it, to be truthful. All right, I, uh, I was hoping I'd make a big reaction video out of this one since I just found it. Still, the SML YTP video reaction video will be up. And Toy Blast and Gacha Memories Redo 2024, the Saturday Night Edition, will also be up later tonight. So you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and I will see you around.